All right, so we're coming up on some police who are harassing uh, people trying to get off the bus and just go about their daily life. How's it going? Good. Out harassing innocent people today. <laughs> but I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it. He be treated like a punk, you know. That's a man. Have a good one. Oh, yeah, you too. Have fun with your stolen funds. How often do you get victimized? Huh? I'm curious, how often do you get victimized? By you guys? No, by anybody. Well, I've never been victimized more so than by police officers and people calling themselves government. What have you done to draw attention to yourself? Nothing. Oh. It's what you guys do. Me? Yeah. I've never met you. Well, <laughs> you work for a corrupt organization. Oh. You work for the largest terrorist organization in the entire world. Why do you support it then? What's that? Why do you support it? I don't. Yes, sure you do. You just paid money and now you're going to get on it? No. Yeah, this, you this, as far as I'm concerned, is what I have to do. Oh. Okay. This is a private company where government should not have their hands in this company at all. This is fascism. Oh. So. You, you think the government helps subsidize the train system? Well, I know it subsidizes okay, so this. it's not a private business as you just said well it should be yeah but do you know how much tickets would be if it was a private business are, are you do you know i don't i know it'd be a lot more than 250 or whatever i highly doubt that because really? the, yeah because the government wouldn't have to steal taxpayer money no. in order to fund this company and it would be all on a voluntary basis so there would be no coercion and violence I mean, I guess you feel comfortable feeding your family on stolen funds and engaging in criminal activity against innocent people I take when there's no crime committed? I take pride and yeah, happiness and the joy that you can walk around um, and spout off whatever the hell you want. You haven't been punched in the face. Nobody's taken your phone yet. But you can be a little lamb and feel safe from wolves. Well, you guys are the wolves and I don't feel safe from you and it is because I ask questions that I have received trouble from you guys. In mm. fact, I'm going to the district attorney's office right now because they have been causing trouble because I've asked a simple question mm. and that question is, um, do you have any factual evidence that you have authority to tell anybody what to do? What's been the answer? They refuse to answer. They can't answer because they don't want to lie and say yes because there is none. And they know that I would be able to point that out. Why do you and continue to live in such like a horrible environment, like a lawless, corrupt environment? I mean, you can move to another country that has no government and laws and just forage on your own. So you're victim blaming? No, I'm asking you're saying you a because I am in a I'm location a that I have to. I'm asking you a question. So you're saying because I grew up in a location. Oh, I'm not saying Hold I'm on. You a question. Let me finish. You're saying that because I happen to be in a location where there are violent criminals who are imposing their will and their uh, violence upon innocent people, that I should be the one that moves. I think you guys should be the ones that get an ethical job and go into the private sector and stop trying to violate people's rights. If things are so violent, who do you think? keeps some of that in check. You guys certainly don't. Oh, you know how much violence would be if we weren't here? <laughs> there would be a lot less because less? your whole job is reliant on violence. Think about it, all right? You see somebody, what you call speeding, right? They don't, there's no victim, there's no crime that's been committed, but you yourself make a legal determination that you have jurisdiction over that person to write them a citation. Mm -hmm. That is violence. You are stealing money from them. You're stealing wages from them. So I would feel more safe if I had the ability to hire my own security rather than be forced to pay thugs who are going to commit violence against me. Would you work, where can I find your blog? What's that? You have a channel on YouTube. You've post all your videos to? Or? I don't, I, I'm not here to answer your question. Oh, I thought you were proud of your work and would want people to see it. I'm very proud of my work and people, not proud pe enough to people will see this. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. You'll see this. <laughs> is there a day I should mark on my calendar, like when this great uprising from you is going to begin? <laughs> what do you mean uprising? Event, celebration, whatever you want to call it. The day, the day all this stuff's going to happen. All, the day all what's going to happen? 
Well, you just yeah, you spouted a bunch of riddles, so I was just curious. I was trying to figure out the day. What, what were their riddles about? What what uh what are you unclear about? Everything you were just talking about. Yeah, actually, yeah. Really okay, good. so because you guys are out there committing crimes against Which innocent crime? people, what um, have you committed, well, you don't know me, so have you ever arrested somebody mm -hmm. for a victimless crime? No. Oh, you've never arrested somebody for a victimless crime? No. Oh. Okay, and what if what if somebody got off the bus here and they didn't have their thing and they refused to show their ID? Are you going to arrest them? Perhaps. Okay, well, that would be kidnapping and assault well, no, because what? there is no victim. Yeah, you don't know the definition of assault. So well, support. assault, what do you mean I don't know the definition of assault? Are you saying that you know the definition of assault? I do. Okay, what is it? Let's, let's agree there's nothing I could say that's going to, like, change who you are. Well, no, I'm, I'm asking you because you've claimed now that you know the definition of assault. You I, I'm, I'm asking you, do you have an answer to what is assault I if you sure say that I don't know? Bodily injury in my life. What's that? I sure hope you're the one that's going to come protect us. Well, you guys are the ones committing violent crime against people. So, well, what do you mean keep thinking it? There's all of the evidence is there. There's actually factual evidence there. Whereas you arrest people without evidence of jurisdiction. You can't define assault in any legal sense can, because you're not allowed to make legal determinations. I can, but you're not you can. not anything I say, well, so. Hey, I might believe you if you tell the there truth, you if you show factual evidence. Okay. So can you or? You think you have your definition of assault, I have my definition of assault. So you so you admit that it is an arbitrary opinion what that definition is. Well, there's a book of rules and laws that the majority of the people agree to, and that's the um, definition of assault law bill, Oregon Revised Statutes. Okay, and what uh, factual evidence do you rely on to show that the Oregon statutes apply to me? Are you impeding my trail travels as a free man? I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Please don't spout off gibberish. If you would respond to the question that I'm asking, that would be ideal. You gonna go meet the DA? Yeah, I will, okay. but, I, but I'm just asking you, do you have any factual evidence that the Oregon yeah. statutes apply to me? Find out, do something stupid, no. and see if no. they'll apply to you. So you're saying that uh, your willingness to impose your violent will upon somebody is factual evidence that you have jurisdiction over them? No, Riddler, I don't, I'm it's not. not I'm not, I'm, it's not a riddler, it's a, it's a very uh, straightforward question. You, I've explained it. No, you haven't said, I've asked you, is there factual evidence that the Oregon statutes apply to me, yes or no? What is that factual evidence? You can't say? I can, but I'm just bored talking to you because we go in circles. No, I think it's because you know that there is none. Uh, because wouldn't you want everybody to know if there is factual evidence? Establishing jurisdiction, wouldn't you want everybody to know what that is? Power and the money, money and the power, minute after minute, hour after hour, everybody's running, but half of them ain't Get online or go to the library and read Oregon Revised Statutes, and that's what I'm upholding on the well, Constitution. Right. I, well, first off, you're not upholding the Constitution. Yeah. That's for damn sure. You don't think so, but I think I do. Well, so. Again, so if you think laws will apply to you, why are you buying a ticket? Again, you're telling me, well, because if I board a train and don't pay for it, mm -hmm. then that would be a crime. What crime? Yeah. Theft. There's a victim. So you understand Oregon Revised Statutes, then? No, 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 no. It has you nothing don't? to do with an Oregon Certainly. Revised Statute. No, it That's doesn't. That's the law. It's no, 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 no. Hold on. No. First, I've asked you a question. Do you have any factual evidence that the Oregon Revised Statutes We've apply to me? We've moved on beyond that. Well, no, were... because you haven't answered. Okay. And I'm not going to. You know what? Okay, so you're refusing to answer because you know that there is none. That's true. Okay. That's true. Okay. That's true. Okay. Yeah, just like you're refusing to answer a lot of questions, I'll refuse to answer some of that. Well, I won't, I won't refuse to answer a question because I don't know the answer or because I don't want to lie about it. I'll refuse to answer questions about my personal stuff so that I won't have to worry about being harassed by criminals. So 
you're my not, you're not that interesting or fascinating to worth so as far listening. as far as well considering the uh changes that i am causing to happen oh. um my life is in danger what should i be on the lookout for so i can i might have to on my calendar so what i'm in full circle again and so, so riddles so what you were saying about theft is that theft, Honestly, dude, theft, forward, theft has i understand that you're have no factual evidence so of jurisdiction because your okay. your oh, mentality is boring to me. Uh huh. Okay, it's understandable. Okay. I mean, you're an idiot, but I mean that's it's understandable. Right, keep on, keep it on. Yeah. That's what the thugs do because they can't answer questions. They have no factual evidence that there is any jurisdiction over us. They only have the willingness to use violence to impose their violent will upon us. <laughs> They use their weapons. They think it's funny to be violent against innocent people. And these are the idiots that are paid through theft and extortion. These are the kidnappers. And you see these police asking people if they bought TriMet tickets. This is fascism. So on your guys' spare time, is it going to the bar to have a drink or is it going home and sleeping? It's going home, drinking and beating their wives for the most part. <laughs> what reality do you live in? Well, that's just the truth. The, the, uh, the amount of the amount of domestic violence is higher in cop families. That's a well-known fact. One thing we have to remember is that a lot of these people have the chance to be conscientious objectors. They have the chance to lead ethical lives. They have the chance to leave a life of crime and many of them refuse to do so um, because they actually get a dopamine rush off of the level of violence they inflict upon people. So a lot of police officers are dopamine addicts and that is why they continue to commit violence over and over again every day. Of course, they run from the cameras. And apparently you have nothing better to do. Well, I'm actually protecting people right now. So, wow. um, well, if you want to actually, if you want to have a rational conversation, we can. Oh, and I can, I, I, I can explain it. How? Because there's nothing going on. Well, because these police officers are um, trying to catch people uh, who are committing victimless crimes. And I record them to make sure that they don't do anything out of line, you know, break any rules, commit any, any unnecessary violence. So that's why I record police. Is this all because of the, the rally downtown? Uh, no, it has nothing to do with any rally downtown. But if you uh, want to know about the question you asked regarding the reality I live in, if you look at statistics, you'll see that domestic violence is higher in top families than in any other type of families. I have done the research, and if you look up the statistics, you'll see that the percentage of people who are uh, domestic violence is committed against them are committed by police officers, and you will see that if you look it up. So, I mean, it is true. I mean, all you have to do is research it. It is. <laughs> so they're just standing around, wasting time. What's that? Which bus are you talking about? Uh, one. Well, the scientists say you're going to catch a bus or you board a bus or a train, so just watch out. Yeah. Well, it's everywhere. So this, well, this I, area here, not I have, transit use. I have a day pass. I'm letting you know this area is not for you to just hang out in. Okay? You're either going to get on the train or bus. All right. So are you threatening I'm me? just letting you know. You're telling me that I can't stand here? The more buses, you've gone through all of them, all right? Well, <laughs> Do you have any, uh, do you have any evidence of jurisdiction, sir? Are you making a legal determination that I fall under your jurisdiction? I'm just asking for the prosecutor in case you try to arrest me. All the signs here are non-transit. I'm, I'm just, just asking. Them. They're right here for you, okay? I'm just, uh, well, this is a public sidewalk. I'm not in the paid no, fare zone. You board a bus or get off a bus and use a train. Are you, you saying I'm not in here. the public sidewalk? I'm letting you know. Isn't this the paid fare zone? You can do whatever you want, but when you're over there hanging out like you just were for the last 10 minutes... Well, I'm just I'm protecting you know. myself and okay. I'm protecting other people. Right, okay. So are you saying this is a safe I, place I to stand? I you what happened. So, so... You can read the sign. Okay. 
So, and I do want to ask, are you making a legal determination that you have jurisdiction? I just need to know for the prosecutor. Are you in the field making a legal determination that you have jurisdiction, sir? Sir? See, notice that they have to rely on threats of violence and they refuse to answer a question because they know that they don't have factual evidence. They're relying on their willingness to commit violence. And that is all. No factual evidence. These are the real criminals. And they're threatening me because I'm filming them. This should be open because it's civil rights. Thanks, man. I will state for the internet record, the police officer has threatened me with violence if I do not leave and get on a bus. What's your name? They're making these women uncomfortable. I'm not filming you. I'm filming the police. What's your name? I need it. I can't read it. Your phone's in the way. What's that? Okay, what's your badge number? I've already given it to you. You haven't given me your badge number. No, you haven't. Are you going to catch a train or a bus? What's that? Are you going to catch a train or a bus? Of course. Right now I'm filming criminals in the area, and I'm in a public space. You're on transit property. This is the paid fare zone? Are you saying that I am not in a public space? It's been explained to you already, dude. It hasn't. I, I've specifically asked, isn't it this area past this paid well, fare zone? It well, it hasn't. So are you making a legal determination that you have jurisdiction? Since you're threatening to basically arrest me. I'm getting on a max, I've told you. The max doesn't stop here, it's downstairs. I understand. Well, I'm on a public space, correct? No. I'm not? It's been explained to you whether you believe Okay, where is the limitation of the public Get space? Out on the sidewalk. So right here? Is this the limitation? It's policy. I'm sorry. Oh, this is a very this is a very strict plane that I'm on. Just to show. This is the road. This is the sidewalk. That's the paid fare zone. I just want to know, are you claiming are you claiming that you have jurisdiction? Yes or no? Okay, well then don't talk. I'm not. What's that? No. 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 Uh So I was just walking past them and they started asking me questions and then started threatening me with no, 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 it's not, no, it's not their job. It, it's, it's not their job to commit violence against innocent people. Well, not yet. So, am I in a good spot now, or not? What's that? I just want to know, am I on public property yet? What's that? I'm in a good spot? Great. Well, your existence is giving me a headache. Get an ethical job. Welcome to Germany. On Wiedersehen, asshole. <laughs> they really hate to be watched. I'll go ahead and get on my max now. All right, man, have a good day. 
later, thug. Catch you on the flip side, motherfuckers. <laughs> la la la.